Well back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we say something about that lecture. Like. <laughs> so I need to record. Okay. Ah, it's almost to fifteens. Okay. What should we do? Okay, good. All right. Okay. All right. So last uh, week I have uh, mentioned you about the project. Okay. So the project that's mean you need to do the individual project. The project is about the light detector, right? LDR. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so for today we proceed uh, on the um, uh, right, for the lectures one okay so lectures one is about introduction to measurement okay introduction to the measurement so the words here is measurement and instrumentation okay so when you want to do a uh, measurement that means you need an instrumentation, right? In order you want to measure something, you need a tools, right? Or instrumentation. Okay. All right. Okay, good. So, what is actually a measurement? So, measurement is a uh, you doing a process, right? Uh, by having an object to determine the value of the quantity. So the quantity here is that something that you can measure, for example, length, mass, time, or electric current, voltage, resistance, and uh, what else? Okay, uh, the goal, right? No, <laughs> uh, the bracket. Okay, and, <laughs> and so and so on. Okay, all right. So when we have the measurement, of course, we need to have the measurement standard, right? So in order we want to measure our length of our shoes, right? So sometimes we need to uh, look at the what is the standard that they use, right? Is it in the UK standard or SI standard and so on, all right? So. This one, I think, is uh, common it for you, right? Okay. And then, um, uh, we have the SI unit, which is depending on the base unit, right? Actually, there is a uh, seven base unit here. Okay. So, this unit, right, it, it, it used to develop a few type of sensors. Okay. All right. And then it depending on what that uh, you want to measure, right? For example, the mass, kilogram, okay? You want to measure the time and so on, right? Then from this one, from the base unit, this one, you will come out with the sum formula, which is your area, which is equal to m squared, volume, that's mean equal to m cube, right? So f, right, equal to m a, you need the mass and so on. Okay, so that's what we call it a derived unit. Okay, is the area, volume, velocity, uh, acceleration, force, and also pressure. Okay, all right. So this is the measurement. You do a process to measure something. Okay, this is the measurement. So when you want to uh, to measure something, that's mean you need a tools. That's mean you need an instrumentation, right? You need the instrumentation. So a simple instrumentation is like you want to measure the length or you just need a, a ruler, right? Or anything that have a scale, right? So that it can uh, do the measurement, okay? So if you want to measure something that involving in uh, electrical, right? Uh, variable like resistance, voltage, you can use the multimeter, okay? So, uh, so the so the multimeter is right now is a very important if you doing an experiment that involving in electronic stuff, right, or or something electrical and so on. So you need this, right? This is is like is the basic is is like the our heart, 
right and so on and then the other one the instrumentation the blood pressure and so on so if you look at the instrumentation all have the scale right it show you the uh, value right the value that you want to measure okay uh, in your mobile phone okay you have a lot of instrumentation exactly do you have uh, you have the battery indicator in order to measure the uh, uh, percentage or capacities of the um, battery of your phones right and also you have the LCD touchscreen microphone to measure the audio and so on and you have the clock watch <laughs> clock watch in order the time and sometimes you have finger free and so on okay this is the basic lah right so instrument in vesicle well, they are a lot right front sensor indoor uh, outdoor rain sensor accelerometer passenger sensor speedometer back sensor and so on okay there are a lot of sensor right now so right now um uh we are able to buy an electric car right right now right okay <laughs> uh, right so uh so there are a lot of instrument in the uh electric car right for example, a lot of things. So the more important thing is to check the uh, capacity of the battery and so on. So right now, uh, the people uh, or what we call it the industry, right? The automotive industry right now move into the IoT. Okay. So if you buy a car, right? So you can have the app for that car, right? The app will uh show you okay how much fuel left how much battery left um what is your top speed i don't know <laughs> what is the average speed you drive is it the echo or what right and so on so that actually is um what we call it the iot right internet of thing that will be used by like, industrial right to check the performance of their car right and to check um where are you going okay <laughs> where you spend on your lives um when you join in um something like uh, linked in uh, facebook and so on there are something about the research is about they will look that uh, what is the activity of uh, the uh, driver right from the morning until night right so if we check okay on this one they're going to the shop and this one they're going to the shop and so on uh, is think about it so this is about of data so right now yeah uh everything right now is in our phone in in the cloud and so on so anything can be viral okay so don't play play <laughs> okay all right so this is the instrumentation uh basically what you will see when we talk about instrumentation there are four components there are four components the first one is the uh transducer or we call it is a sensor so transducer it can convert it into a measured value for example you want to measure temperature and then it can convert it into a millivolt right into the voltage or into of a current uh, maybe into the capacitor or maybe into um, uh, current right ampere and so on okay and then uh, you cannot have uh, the sensor itself because the value of uh, from the sensor itself is very very small very very small so you need a signal conditioning maybe to amplify it to become a voltage or maybe you want to convert it into other parameter like ohm you can convert into voltage and so on okay all right and uh, some of the instrumentation it will display in term of the digital or analog right so if you want to display in the into the digital so you need to convert it uh, you need to have the analog to digital converter okay so if you look at uh, everything right now uh mostly it show you in the digital value right okay so uh 
most of the car right now they don't like to use the analog value and so on okay so they use the digital value okay this is the four components uh, one one component two three and also four all right but for the three it is depending so if your instrumentation uh is still use the pointer right or scale that uh, to show the value right so it doesn't need the analog to digital okay all right so this is the definition and so on so let's look one um, by one what is the transducer uh, the example of the transducer is like thermocouple that we will learn right we will learn in the next topic so what it do is it convert it from the uh, temperature okay all right temperature and to convert into the millivolt right emf that's mean electromagnetic force okay and we also have the rtd so for rtd also detect the temperature we convert it into ohm right so sometimes we call it the changes of the resistance right okay and then uh, i have mentioned you uh, before that we cannot have the sensor itself because the sensor we produce very very small value okay all right so you you need the signal conditioning so for example like amplifier from the small voltage millivolt it can uh, amplify it to uh, larger voltage okay and also it also can de-amplify it right from the uh, big uh, larger voltage it can amplify it to be uh, small voltage okay all right um i can see my slide right now is lagging right i don't know why before this is okay so today i i think the way back got a problem okay <laughs> all right okay are you agree right okay good uh, Western bridge. So Western bridge is used to convert it uh, to uh, other parameter. Okay, for example, you have the uh, ohms, so you can uh, convert it into other parameter like voltage. Because we, when we develop an instrumentation, right? When we have the sensor, the output will be ohms. We, we normally we convert it into the voltage, right? so we never try to measure the ohm because the ohm uh, the um, will be affected by a lot of parameters so sometimes you cannot get the fixed value or the ohm value right so we we will use the western bridge to convert it okay and then uh, you can also have another signal conditioning for example this one convert into millivolt you can have the another conditioning to convert into the voltage okay so display Yep. Uh, for example, the movement of pointer, right? It will show you the scale, right? Any, 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 anything can be the analog scale, right? You have the analog, analog scale, and also you will have the digital scale. Okay. All right. This one. Okay. All right. And computer, you also can have the display uh, on your computer, right? If you want to show the graph and so on and blah 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 okay all right okay so uh anything good right now if you feel good please write good okay i want to get it uh input from you okay okay i've been in still good car how okay right good okay okay uh this one so let's think uh identify the elements for the pressure measurement so you have um this one the pressure measurement right so when you go to pump your tires right uh of your car so you need this one okay you will see this one a lot of things when you go to work at the industrial so you will see this one okay and then um, identify which one is the transducer, which one is the signal conditioner, and which one is the display. If we look at the um, inside of this uh, pressure measurement, 
So what do we have here? We have the pressure in here, and then it will trigger the gear, and then the trigger will trigger the pointer, we show thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I still remember when uh, I go to the petrol station, I want to pump uh, the tires, right? And then I uh, and then I reset for 220, right? For for the car is 220, right? <laughs> is it is it true? Okay, 220, and then uh, uh, I pump the tire, and then I will wait for for the uh, for the sound ding <laughs> ding ding okay like that okay right. so inside this one what is it the transducer what is it the transducer okay and what is it the signal conditioning what is it the display all right so transducer ah transducer we can say the uh, border tube right okay because the bottom tube, it can convert it from uh, uh, Pascal, right? The pressure in, okay? And then you can convert into something that, that, that we call it line, right? I can say it line. So this one is the bottom tube. Okay. And how about signal conditioning, guys? Signal conditioning. Which one? Which one is signal conditioning? If you know, please type it in the chat. Is it the, the the pointer? Is it the scale? Is it the the pure gear or is it the sector gear? What is it, guys? So, yeah. Signal conditioning. SG is not the uh, Singapore, right? I know that uh, everybody want to go to Singapore, right? Okay. Yeah, what is it, guys? Sector gear, okay. On which sector you are? <laughs> B40, uh, T20, or Gelang, right? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, correctly, it's a gear, right? Because the gear is react as the amplifier. It can we can amplify, we can de amplify, right? From the small gear uh, to be the big gear and so on. Okay, and of course the display you have the scale, right? Okay, or analog scale. Okay, uh, just simple like that. So if you look at when we talk about instrument, so it will have all these things, right? Uh, your ruler is 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 also the and and the and the instrument lah, right? Okay. Ah, yeah. The answer is there. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So, what is the important by doing the measurement and instrumentation? So, uh, in in the industrial application or in our daily life right so first of all what we want to know we want to measure so when we say we want to measure that one we want to monitor okay right we want to monitor so so what you're doing right now is uh, you record the class right because you want to monitor okay hmm what will be next this lecture will do hmm is it the lecture we do some joke <laughs> Is it this lecturer we do some we be angry? <laughs> Is it the lecturer we show something? Okay. <laughs> Alright. So that's mean you want to monitor. Alright? You want to monitor the temperature, you want to monitor what monitor time, monitor uh, the gas or monitor something else. Alright. And then after you get all the data and then um, part of that you can control it, right? Okay, so the first one monitor and then after that will be control. And then um, the second thing is uh, why we want to monitor because we want to improve, we want to solve something, right? When you, for example, we want to improve the quality of our product and so on. And then the third one, of course, for the safety purpose. So if you look at a system, right, that have the instrumentation is there. So uh, one of the main um, one of the main uh, function is for the safety purpose. Okay, right, right now when 
it's not right now right a few months later so uh, a few months uh, a previous month okay so so we uh, when we go to supermarket and so on we need to put our head <laughs> on that device all right ten, ten, ten. okay so that's easy to do for safety purpose all right but that one is not more right not more okay uh, monitoring okay this is the, 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 the example so you want to monitor for example monitor sense uh, temperature sensor pressure right uh to you to control the process yes so maybe some of you we work at the qc engineer okay we work at the qc engineer although that you uh your program is the mechanical engineer so when you want to apply the job right later in the in in, in the industrial you you also can apply as the qc engineer all right so uh and also please uh join please have the lincoln right lincoln uh, so that you can uh, see a lot of the job and so on and some of the uh, student they put the white flag oh, okay white flag so i want to change my job please please help me in and, and then uh some other manager we say okay please contact this uh, me okay and so on so okay please also have the link in. okay so don't forget to eat uh to eat <laughs> to add my link in, okay okay all right for the safety purpose and so on okay so uh for the monitoring and control of a uh, process so if you work uh, at the oil and gas industry right a lot of the instrumentation you can see here okay so this is uh, will be you right in the futures okay you will be an engineer there to measure something all right all right if if you don't have uh any task to do so just be act right just just show that okay i'm doing this job okay and so on okay and then this one is just to measure the pressures and so on okay that like i said to you and the next one is you monitor and then you control and of course you want to improve the quality so like this guy the serious one okay is it you omar no okay is the serious guy right so he, he used to measure the uh um the the dimension and so on so um uh, something good about the link linked or linking <laughs> link in okay link in uh so sometime uh the student uh when when he or she work at the industrial they like to share right okay they like to share about what uh, what they are doing that day and so on so sometimes it's good for us to see whoa okay sometimes they see that okay uh, they use the uh, vinyl clipper right to measure okay this turbine uh, is it <laughs> and so on so it will be good for, for our knowledge okay safety purpose right like emergency button and so on yep this gases right and so on okay so like I mentioned you before, so do not uh, uh, limit your uh, application for your job into the mechanical engineer. So you also can become an instrumentation engineer. Okay. So uh, be part of this because when you learn uh, something about this subject combined, combined with the mechatronic uh, subject and so on so you will you can do anything you can do designing or you can develop a system you can be part of uh, develop a system for uh, biomedical uh, and automobile and so on and then most of us is talk about the iot right and so on okay all right so the last slide will be reading exercise so definition of instrumentation and measurements okay instrumentation okay what is it the instrumentation guys please write something in the chat what is it instrumentation correct um amira azim correct but will uh it is um so I'm looking for a correct word. Okay, device that's mean 
unit yes correct er erwin sylvanus okay nice name tools right yeah it's a tools so when we talk about tools anything it's not only the device it is only only thing so if you have the ruler or you have something else right uh so just imagine that if we are in the jungle right okay we don't have anything else so what you to measure okay <laughs> something like that lah. okay all right okay uh another application i think you can uh, look at by yourself okay so 12 uh 38 okay we have about 20 more minutes okay all right guys so can we go to the next uh topic guys is it okay ta -da, ta -da. okay good all right uh yeah my slide not appear yet in the is way back i don't know why hmm. something happened today right with the way back okay good all right so uh, on this topic, we will look about the analog and digital, uh, what is mean, right, the definition, or what is mean by transfer function and analyze of the data. So when you do the measurement, you will get the data and then you will do some analysis about it, okay? So analog and digital um, uh, and instrumentation components, right, which is including a sensor, right? uh it, it has so analog you know that uh the scale right now will be in term uh, uh we'll have the pointer and so on for for example this one tachometer and we also have the encoder all right so encoder have been used a lot in the industry in order to measure the distance how much the distance of uh this thing will move in right so and then and then uh how much the rotation right it will uh, rotate and so on okay so uh of course when you have a, a transducer or sensor the output will be analog right the output will be analog first and then how you sample the 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 output right how you do sample right in term this one you uh to make it in term of digital okay for example okay if uh, this one maybe you set it okay one millivolt okay now it will refer to is one one zero okay uh, for example okay and then for data representation also we have the analog and also digital so digital in term of one zero one 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 data analog maybe zero point one millivolt uh, zero point two millivolt and so on okay so this one the basic one lah all right so uh, transfer function transfer function this mean that we are uh, usually when we have uh, instrumentation so we would like to uh, simplify all right simplify it into a simple block diagram so that at the end you will get it the relationship between the output and also the input for example if you want to measure the temperature so uh, it will have the output of the voltage so you want to know what is the relationship between voltage and also temperature all right so it's what we call it the transfer function okay all right oh example 2.1 okay so this uh, example show you how to uh, see the relationship between input and output okay all right so let's do this Suppose the temperature range 20 degree to 120 degree is linearly converted to the standard current range of 4 to 20 milliamp. What current will result from 66 degree and what temperature does 6.5 milliamp represent? Okay, so this one. Uh, uh, you need to know what is the uh, input what is the output so in this case 
what will be the input suppose and then converted into okay that's mean the input right now is the temperature and then the output right now is current okay milliamp all right okay so uh -huh. it's lagging right now okay All right. So right now we know that the input is the temperature and then the output will be in terms of uh, milliamp. So that's mean the unit of the transfer function, it will be like output, okay, over with temperature, uh, milliamp over degree, okay. So sometimes we call it the transfer function is the sensitivity, okay. So in this question, it shows that, okay, what the current will be result from 66 degree. That's mean if you measure the 66 degree, so what is the current it will be? Okay, all right. And then the second question is, he said that if the current produced is 65 milliamp, so what will be the temperature that it measure at, at, at that one? Okay, so this is it. So now we know that uh, 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 we want to get the relationship first. So this one, I think it may be quite easy, right? So the 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 input will be temperature, and then the output will be uh, current. Okay. Okay. Let me do this first. So twenty one hundred twenty, and then the twenty will produce four m, and then uh. Uh, 120 will produce 20 milliamp. So, and then you got it is one straight line because it's linearly, right? Okay, because it's linearly converted, that means the equation will have like this y equal to mx plus c. So, if we put it, is this one is i, this one is t. So, we have the i equal to mt plus c. Okay, oh no mt plus i naught lah all right so sometimes if we go to i naught here okay then we can solve uh, this one this one we can solve it what we have here is i equal to mt plus i naught so for the i for 4 m 4 milliamp we're going to find the m first 20 plus i naught so for this one 20 and 120 plus i naught then you get the value for m then you get the value for i naught okay all right so in this case uh, i think it's a very easiest one 0 0.16 milliamp per degree and this one is 0 0.8 milliamp. Okay, so the last equation is will be I equal to 0 0.16 T plus I naught 0 0.8. Okay, that's it. Okay, so the question is it said that. Uh, if the T is equal to 66 degree, so what is this I? I simple, right? Times 66 degree plus 0 0.8. So you got it is I here. Hmm. What is the value of I, guys? Why the value of I? <laughs> yeah. You need to use the Excel, guys. You need to use the Excel. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zuhair. Zuhair Akma, you use Excel, right? Excel. Okay, good. <laughs> so this one you call it is here. 
Alright. Oh, calculator dah tahu. Okay, good. Oh, you have uh, money to buy calculator, Zuhai? Okay, good. <laughs> let, let me some joke. <laughs> Guys, I don't viral my uh, videos, right? Okay, my audio. <laughs> This lecture say something to that prof, okay? No lah. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, okay, the, the 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 other question is about the I equal to uh, six point five milliam. So what will be six point five here? Uh, zero point six t plus zero point eight. So what will be the t? Yeah, maybe it's just all right. Oh, Omar Reda, good. Omar Reda, you use the calculator or Excel? Okay. <laughs> 35.625. Okay, calculator also, that's okay. Right. Okay, guys, good. So, I think this one may be simple, right? I know you, you know already, okay. But, uh, basically, Uh, the sensor itself, uh, it will detect the, uh, it will measure uh, the quantity, right? The quantity, they see the something that you can measure, right? And then it will convert into some something useful value, right? For example, this one, you convert to the milliamp. Okay, okay. alright. So, you need to know on uh, what is the relationship uh, between input and also output. Good. So, uh, next one. Next one is about data signal transmission. So, when you uh, work in the industry, you will see that uh, uh, the industry like to use the sensor, right? They like to use the sensor with the output of a uh, current, right? For example, uh, 4 to 20 milliamp is the standard current. They don't like to use the output from the sensor in terms of the resistance and also the voltage. Right, I will let you know why. And for the pneumatic, yep, this is the standard one lah. Okay. Uh, for example, in the industrial, if you put your sensor, right, or instrument, right, to to another plant, right. So we talk about the uh, uh, oil and gas plant, right. Right, and so on, and so the plant is far away from the control rooms, okay, and then uh, you will see that they, they use a cable, right, the output from the sensor will be in terms of the current, and then they, they can convert it into the voltage, and then they will see the result, and so on. Same thing with the uh, pressure, right, the output will be the PSI, and so on. So my question is, so why use uh, current signal? Right, why use the current signal? So we know that the current, right, is the formula is uh, V equal to IR. So the current is equal to V over R. Okay, so if <clears throat> if you want to measure, let's say this is your control rooms. Okay, this is your control room. And then uh, if you Uh, measure voltage, right? If you decide to measure voltage, okay. So at that time, there is a cable, right? That is a broken cable, and then you ask the technician and so on to put it the new cable. So we know that the new cable right now have the resistance. So when they put the new cable, that means uh, you cannot get the same voltage. On what you get it before because this one have the resistance so your voltage right now will be dropped so that's why in the industrial they like to measure current see they measure current here so that when you change this cable right this cable the current will be flow with the same value as before okay so this is the reason why the industrial they like to use Uh, measure current. Okay. All right. 
uh, this is how about the data transmission and so on so now when you get the data all right when you get the data what is the uh, uh, significant figure that you must have right so as much that you have uh, more uh, significant figure that's me you will get uh, more accurate right more accurate result okay okay that's it and then after that you start doing the statistical analysis of the data okay so uh, for example the basic one doing the means right okay for example, you get the data for this one, um, uh, egg, right? At the egg location, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one. So, your uh, boss will say that, okay, you have uh, do some measurement at that one, at that plant. Can you tell me what is the uh, temperature for that plant, right? Uh, so need to find the mean right okay i have measured that plan one okay i have got the sample about 100 or sample okay i got it the average is around uh the mean is around and so on okay uh you don't tell okay you don't tell your boss okay this is the raw data that i got it uh please please read okay <laughs> 100 sample and so on okay so uh you also can uh, do the standard deviation all right in order to see your uh data uh distribution okay all right so let's look this one if you are given a two set of data for example like 50 40 30 and 70 so when you calculate the mean it gives you 47.5 okay and then the other uh, sample of data right maybe you measure at the uh, after the one month you measure you got it like this one Okay, and the mean also will give you 47.5. So, that's mean you have a data set 1 and data set 2. Right. For my question is, which data set, right, which data set will give you a good result? Which data set? Data set 1 or data set 2? 1 or 2? Please write in the chat. Okay, good, good, okay, good. The answer is data set one. Okay, the next question is why? Why is yeah? Good, Zuhair Akma. So Zuhair Akma said that less deviation, yeah, less than the deviation, more accurate. Okay, so that's why when you do some uh, data analysis uh, maybe you will do for your PSM project or maybe you will continue to master degree or PhD and so on you will play around with the sum of the data analysis because you will do some experiment and then you will do uh, some data analysis so you get the means right but mean we will only uh, say that uh, yeah about the average right of your data okay my 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 data the April will be like this okay the picture will be like this uh, but but uh, we want to look at the uh, standard deviation that's mean how close the data that you measure into the means right if everything is close and so on that's mean the instrumentation that you use uh, at that time is good is um, is been uh, what we call it uh, calibrated and so on Good thing. All right, so this one I don't need to repeat. We have learned this one before, how to calculate the elevation and so on. Okay, so uh, I think that's it, all right? So we have covered for two topics, all right? So very, very basic topic and so on. Okay, so the next is, uh, I hope that you have uh, played around with the uh, Tinkercad, all right? Tinkercad, you have played around, okay, I hope that, right, uh, because on next week, right, on this uh, Sunday, uh, we will play around a little bit about the uh, Tinkercad, okay, we will go for the uh, lectures first, and then we continue for uh, play around with the Tinkercad, okay, Sunday holiday, ah, what's holiday Sunday, 
Zuhir Akmal. Oh, I see. Uh, but in Johor, I, I don't know whether Johor will holiday at that time. Johor holiday, right? Is it? Zuhir? Or only for Kuala Lumpur? Oh, Nuriza Fatia. Nuriza Fatia duduk di mana? Uh, 